Yo, what's going on guys? Ninja here bringing everybody a new video and in this video we're going to talk about uh, Scorpion. We're going to do a full breakdown of Scorpion. We're going to be talking about his strengths, basic combos, advanced combos, his playstyle, um, his mix-ups, crushing blows, frame advantage and disadvantage, and uh, also applying pressure and also his armor breaker. Uh, and we're going to get into it right here, right now. Let's do it. Scorpion is a very versatile character that can be used in a variety of matchups. He works best in very, at very close range with his pressure mix-ups, but he can also use his button to whoop punish enemies at range. So we're going to break down Scorpion's damage and combos step by step right here, right now. Let's get into it. One great thing about Scorpion is that he can start his combos with almost any of his strings. So we can go 1-1 one, one, teleport, we can go 2-1 teleport, we can do forward 1, sorry, forward 4-2, four, we can do back 1-4 spear. You can confirm in a teleport or spear to get more damage before your opponent recovers. There's two differences though between the teleport and the spear that we'll get into shortly. You can ca also cancel into something like Death Spin or Demon Dash if you have either of those equipped. But if you confirm it to Spear or Teleport, you're going to get the most damage. The main difference between Teleport and Spear is that you can break away from an Amplified Teleport, but not an Amplified Spear. Right, so there's nothing he can do to break away until the end of the combo. Let's say that you're in a situation where your opponent has breakaway. If you confirm it's a spear, there's nothing your opponent can do to stop your combo. They have to eat that combo and they're gonna just have to have to take the damage. This can be useful if you need to fire your fatal blow off and need to guarantee the damage. Right? So if your opponent is low or whatever the case may be, if you need to guarantee the round. One more thing that can be useful to know is that Scorpion has an armor breaker on his back three. So if your opponent tries to break away and you know it's coming, you can use the back three to continue to juggle your opponent in the air. Let me change it. Alright, so I'll just show you right there, right? You can continue your combo. The issue with this though is that it's very slow to start up. Right? You can get a lot of damage, but it has a slow start up. So if your opponent is too fast, right, or you don't read it correctly, then it's not gonna land. So you have to be very, very careful about when you're throwing this out. If you break away instantly, again, or if your opponent breaks away instantly, then you're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to um, break their armor. So we're going to go ahead and start breaking down a simple combo you can learn to do with Scorpion. His easiest string is going to be one 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 one. It's just two punches. So go ahead and get used to doing one one. So one one. Next step, it's going to be 1-1 one, one into teleport. All right, and make sure that you amplify. Amplifying it is the only way that you're going to be able to launch your opponent into the air. All right, so, so once you get that down, let's do it again. All right, so 1-1 one, one teleport. Make sure you amplify. And then we're going to try the next part. Teleport, amplify, one, one. It's just hitting them while the, they're in the air. Easy, right? And we're already at the end of the combo, right? So you can use this kind of like a like a template. 
get a good 250 damage is very simple and it's just something that you can practice and, and, and get better with it. Alright, so 1-1 one, one teleport amplify, 1-1 one, one spear. Alright, so you can even extend it if you want to to get more damage. Um, using two bars doesn't really give you doesn't really give you too much. But if you'd like to, you can. So we're gonna talk about Scorpion's place playstyle, excuse me. Scorpion likes to be close to his opponent when reacting to their wake-up attempt. Right? A lot of his buttons are gonna leave him with good hit advantage and his, and his opponent on the ground close to him. Right, so you want to basically mix your moves up with lows, overheads, grabs, and throws, and everything to essentially make your opponent keep guessing what you're going to try to do. Right, the, the more that you predict your opponent, the easier it will be to defeat them in the game. So you want to apply pressure with these specific moves. Right, throws, either forward or backward. You can do back 1-4 because it's really good range on it. You can do jump-ins with Scorpion. And if you're getting anti-air, you can actually teleport as well. But you just want to mix them up, right? So you have the back 3, which is a great overhead. You have the forward 4-2. Four you can get a full combo with that. You can go with, with just a normal string to knock them down. Or a grab, as always. And this kind of goes with every character. Mix in the grabs. Mix in all your different moves. Get to know your character. Another reason that grabs work really well with Scorpion is because he has crushing blows on both of his grabs. So there's his back throw crushing blow, which does 30%. And then there's his forward throw crushing blow, which does about 280 damage. Now that damage over time won't kill, right? So I'll show you uh, right here. So we're gonna go ahead and do the grab again. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and throw on a quick low just to get him a little bit lower. All right, you see how his health reset? In game, it won't do that, All right? It will get them to one health but it will not end the round or the fight. Keep this in mind and moving forward in your fights. You can chip them out if you want to, but it'll get them really low, right? Make sure that you take advantage of these. You can take advantage of these grabs because ducking against Scorpion is dangerous, right? People are not gonna wanna duck against Scorpion. They're gonna wanna block low or high because you can launch them with the low just like that or you can hit him with the overhead, right? So the next crushing blow we're gonna talk about is gonna be his down two crush. All right, so the down two crush, and you're gonna go down two into four, into teleport amplify, forward three into spear. That's a good 42% right there. Right, so there's there's different combos you can do. That's pretty much like the optimal one, but you can do more combos if you want to extend. You can even use two crushing blows in it if you'd like to. Here's another example of a combo you can do. Ending with death spin. But Scorpion is really great in my opinion because there's so many things that you can do. You have a lot of options, but make sure that you're mixing up your opponent at all times. Alright, so the next question below we're going to talk about is this 4-3-4. Alright, so this triggers on counter or punish. I actually dropped that combo, don't worry about it. But, um... Yeah, so after you launch the opponent, you can actually confirm into teleport or spear. Alright, so that was a good 36%. One bar. You can catch them with the spear, do another spear, get another 30%. Right? The only thing about this 
is that there's no way for you to stop the opponent from breaking away unless you have a a, a fatal blow right you but with the frame data there's no possible way for you to stop their breakaway um, unless you have fatal blow but the back three will not work so i'll go ahead and show you guys right now this is me trying to put the move out as fast as i possibly can all right so i'm gonna go ahead and show you a clip and this is me doing the four three four crush on the corner and then using the fatal blow directly after uh, you can stop them from breaking away with this combo, but this is the only thing that can that can stop them, right? So the forward three four is also really good because it's off of his forward three. His forward three is one of Scorpion's most important moves because uh, it's one of his main mids. It's one of his longest range mids. It gives him decent um, decent frame advantage in a lot of situations. But essentially, you just want to make sure that you're keeping things mixed up. You're keeping things fresh. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a combo here. So it's going to be 4, 3, 4, and a teleport. And to 4, 3, 2, and to spear. A good 35% with one bar of power and one crushing blow. And it, it might look difficult, but just practice and it becomes muscle memory. It becomes easier and easier and eventually you'll be able to do it. His next crushing blow is gonna be his 2-1-2 two, two combo. This crushing, two, this crushing blow triggers in a combo of eight or more. All right, so there's gonna be three different ways to get this crushing blow. So we're gonna go ahead and show you the three different ways to get it. All right, actually mess up that edit error. So the first one is with an air to air. If you hit an air to air attack, you can confirm into uh, almost any of the strings that, that do at least two hits into spear amplified, and then do the two one two, and you can have the, the crushing blow. All right, so we're gonna show you one more time. Boom. And this one also does damage over time. This one also will not kill. Alright, so I'm going to show you the next one in a second here. Alright, the next is going to be with a jump in attack. Alright, so it's essentially like an air to air, but a little bit different because your opponent has to be um, on the ground. But the last way is going to be spinning two bars of power. Alright, so if you spin two bars of power, ending with the spear you're able to get up to eight combo. And the last crushing blow we're gonna talk about is the spear. So the spear triggers at maximum distance and the game is a little lenient with this, but for the most part, it's max distance, right? And you have enough hit stun to actually land a jump in after. It's just a little bit more damage, but any, more, any damage helps. Um, this this crushing blow also doesn't do that much damage in comparison to his other ones but it's all unbreakable damage there's nothing that your opponent can do to, to get away from that combo so that pretty much sums up uh, with scorpions main crushing blows but I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, a combo with a decent amount of them in it there's one two and there's three. The Demon Slam Crushing Blow. In my opinion, it's one of the best looking ones. Right, but we're gonna go ahead and move on to the frame disadvantage portion of the video. So Scorpion here is getting attacked. He's gonna throw a string out on block because he's kind of panicking. Right, look at the punish. Scorpion is getting punished because that move is negative on block. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the next one, which is the teleport. Boom, that move is negative on block. Aaron Black can then do whatever combo he wants on the Scorpion because he has the frame advantage. So we're gonna show you another one, which is the four, three, two. Boom, Aaron Black is also able to get the punish with that. You wanna be careful about the moves you're throwing out, especially in the neutral. All right, so he threw the he threw the spear out. That one was a reversal. If he's close enough, certain moves 
can punish you, right? Liu Kang is able to punish you if you hit into his block with the with the spear with his um, with his flying dragon kick, and a lot of other characters can do the same thing. All right, so now we're going to talk about the plus frames that Scorpion has. So Scorpion's two one two actually gives you a frame advantage of seven frames on block. All right, so this means you have seven frames to move before your opponent is able to move. You can see the Scorpion recovers here before Aaron Black gets his guns up. All right, so so we're gonna see Aaron Black try to try to counter back, and boom, he gets punished. Right, so I'm playing as Aaron Black here. I'm blocking and I'm just trying to attack as soon as I can. If your opponent attacks, then you're gonna get punished. Uh, I hope that this guide helped you guys out in plenty of ways. If you learned anything new, hit that like button, consider subscribing for more content, and comment down below. Who's your favorite character in Mortal Kombat history? Are you guys looking forward to the movie? Anyways, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Ninja out. Peace.